Hi, I'm Dave Kassler from Ask Dave, and we're looking at a comment, Natakin8279, on to choke or not to choke. And no, this is not a murder mystery. It's just creating something to keep common mode currents off the outside of the coax. Now, he has a UHF antenna, 440 megahertz, 25 feet of Belden 9258, which is RG8X, is about a 40% loss. I'd check that against a table. 25 feet of MNP Airborne 5 is about a 30% loss. Better, but both are quite high. Yeah, that, that little bit of dB on your loss might help a little bit, but 10% is like 1 dB, okay? Would ferrite beads around the coax be a better solution? Ferrite beads only affect what is on the outside of the shield, the so-called common mode currents. Yes, you want to put those on. Also run it through a lightning arrestor right at the ground rod before you bring it into your shack. Would ferrite beads around the coax? No, they don't affect what's inside the coax, only what's on the outside of the coax. I have the same problem from my UHF VHF antenna, and I'm looking for a way to choke the common mode without converting 30% of my RF energy to heat. Common mode, conversion to heat, two different things. Okay, the conversion to heat comes from the losses in the cable. The common mode is something else entirely. You want to make that go away, okay? So you could put ferrite beads near the antenna and then connect it to ground via a lightning rester before it comes into the shack. So I would go with something like RG213 or LMR400. Now I know those are expensive cables. They're expensive for a reason. They're very good. I've got a bunch of these from people who are not subscribed. Please do me the favor of subscribing. I wish all of you would do that. If you don't want your inbox to fill up with notifications and stuff, don't click the bell. If you do, click the bell. There you go. Until we next meet, 73.